All right, today we just want to do a quick demo of the Smart Bar. Um, it's a Raspberry Pi controlled system. You can see the Pi right there. The quick version is the Raspberry Pi uses the GPIO pins uh, to control the relays. They're normally open contacts, so when the pin turns on, it energizes and closes the contact, which then applies power to the pump. Um, which will then dispense a beverage. So I've got a handful of different things under there. Basil Hayden's, which is one of my favorites makers. Uh, I got Four Roses Yellow Label, which is a good mixer. But just for testing, I get my cat out of the way. Um, we're just going to use water because I've already got Elijah Craig and I'm good for now. Um, so then when we look up here, I've got a Fire 7 that's running action tiles. So all this is controlled through smart things. Um, Got controls for my dining room lights. The bar pumps right here, this is kind of a fail safe. When I was setting this up initially, uh, I didn't have it on a smart switch, so there was always power to the relay board. Um, I somehow made a mistake. I had a water leak or something in the bar, and it basically shorted out the relays, which also energized them, closed the contacts, and ran my pumps all night. Uh, fortunately, there was a very limited amount of water in there, but it screwed up a relay board. So now there is just a smart things controlled outlet that powers the relay board so when this is off it will not dispense any beverage so this will turn off when there's no motion in the dining room i think for like 10 minutes just kind of, kind of like a fail safe that way also if there's somebody here when i'm gone i don't want them to mess with the bar then i just turn off the bar pumps and they're probably not going to know how to drink from the bar so we'll turn it back on. Uh, I've also got the entry light since the dining room is right next to the entry. And then of course the dining room lights on this panel. The lighting in this room is kind of crappy. Um, I just need to replace the bulbs with something uh, that's got a little bit more wattage. Um, and then the bar lights, I've got some Lightify LEDs under here. So we can just turn those off real quick and back on. Um, they're color changing LEDs, so that's kind of fun. They tie into a handful of different automations of the most commonly used one uh, and I can do another video on this later but when somebody shows up at my door there's a motion sensor on the porch and when that motion sensor goes active it just fires off a web core piston and it turns on all the LEDs including the ones behind those TVs in the kitchen as well as the TV upstairs and the TV outside uh, it turns all those LEDs green for about 20 seconds just so I know what's going on and then they go back to white or back off or Red if you're playing, blue if Michigan's playing, or the Broncos are playing, or whatever. Um, but that's a story for another day. So back to the fun part. This is, again, the smart bar. So this is just action tiles. You can do this just regularly through smart things. Basically, <laughs> the Cliff's Notes version, uh, because I haven't messed with this in a long time, um, the Raspberry Pis are using Python scripts to control the GPIO pins. And then in order to have smart things or any web interface control it, the only way that I could do it, and there's probably a better way, but I'm not a developer. So the way that I figured it out was to use PHP scripting because the PHP script can just fire the Python script. That way you can let somebody that's not an admin run it. Um, and since it's local, it's only getting used here, not a big deal. Um, but for something that's web facing, it's a security concern. So probably don't do it, not best practice. But for this situation, it's not a big deal. Um, but anyway, so now for the fun part. Um, I've got my glass right here. And Four Roses is the one that's hooked up to the water right now. So all I have to do is touch this. And you hear a click. That's the relay closing, which powers the pump. And then it's going to pour our beverage. Which right now, it's just water, just for the demo. And then you can control the quantities basically just by adjusting the timing on the Python script. Uh, I think it runs for three and a half seconds now, something like that. Uh, but it's easy to adjust it. And that's a uh, screensaver using my DAC board page, which is kind of fun. Uh, but again, a story for a different day. Um, so we'll just run it again. Hit the Four Roses button. And then it takes a second, it clicks, and it pours a beautiful beverage. And then also, just to kind of step things up a little bit, I can do mixed drinks, uh, bourbon and Coke, um, bourbon and ginger, 
I mean, bourbon and ginger and bourbon and ginger beer, uh, to me, the only things worth mixing bourbon for, uh, but to each their own. So, you know, you can kind of uh, change it up however you want to. All you've got to do is change the name of the device, um, set the script so it runs two different pins, and that's it. So that's, that's how it works. And then the icing on the cake, now that you can do routines with the Echo devices, I've got a dot sitting right here. The lighting is crappy, so you... Uh, you can't really see it too well. We'll just hit the mute button for a second to light it up so you can see it. But since you can create custom routines, I just set one up. Um, Alexa, I need a drink. And there we go. Video turned out to be longer than I expected it to, but you know what? That happens sometimes. I'm kind of a talker, a little bit of a rambler, especially with stuff that's kind of fun like this. Um, I've also got a Google Home Mini right here uh, and a Sonos Play One. Um, neither one of these really tie in. You can use the Play One for notifications through smart things, but again, that's not really related to this. Um, so there it is, smart bar in action.